Oh. But anyway, yeah. Back to talking about um, Dust and Elysian Tail. Yeah, the reason why I bring this up is because it's a game that I'm very much in love with, and yet yeah, it doesn't have as much attention as it should, in my opinion. I could pretty much say the same thing for for like anime or something like that. Like, why 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 are no more people watching canon? <laughs> <laughs> well, funny you bring that up because um, yeah, Death and the Living Tail does have some uh, anime cutscenes in them. In fact, what's really what's really astounding about this game is that most of the game, from the gameplay to the artwork to the character design, they were all done by one person within the span of four years. And everything else, the voice acting and the music were all done by uh, other people. But everything else in the game were all done by the same person in four years. And the, the final result just looked beautiful. I mean, they're just absolutely incredible. Yeah, what's with like indie games nowadays that are like just coming to fruition around the right time? Yeah. Because like, there are things like with Toby Fox and Undertale, and now we have this with like, uh, Dustin Elysian Tail. Yeah, Dean um, Dodrill is his name. And even though we're not into the genre, there's Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, you know, I if there's one game genre that I'm never gonna play, it's horror game because they don't scare me. There isn't there isn't one horror genre video game out there that like legitimately terrified me at all. Like, even Five Nights at Freddy's 4, that's probably like the scariest of the Five Nights at Freddy's game. And I still don't get a reaction out of, uh, out of watching them, because they're just predictable. You know that there's going to be a jump scare coming. I guess that's probably the point, because like, I guess that point of the scariness is that I know, you're on, you know that you're anticipating it, and that's what makes you feel... It's anxiety. That's that's what's going on. Yeah. And the reason why that I don't play horror games is well, I don't want to needlessly like give myself a heart attack. Yeah. Although there is one horror game that I uh, that we I am. get a jump scare losing here off my life. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I was gonna say there is actually one horror game. I'm not. I think this is a part of the horror genre. I'm not exactly sure, but there is one game that I'm actually a kind of interested in playing? It's, uh, Bendy and the Ink Machine. Yeah. Surely, surely you know yeah, about like that. More, more of the, more of the, uh, like, atmospheric horror sort of things that I'm okay with. Because, like, they want to definitely get you all settled in to, like, the whole place that you're going to be venturing through and, and whatnot. Yeah. But actually, there is, a uh, one reason in particular to why I want to play Bendy and the Ink Machine. One of the characters is voiced by Jack Septicai. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, this ain't the first time I've heard YouTubers like voicing their stuff in games. Like I know that originally people like Jontron was gonna have the voice role in ukulele until like a controversy happened with him, but now instead he lent his voice work on over to uh I had in time instead. Huh. Okay. Which is arguably a lot more better. Instead of ukulele. Because, like, my thoughts on it was like... Eh. Now I, now, I need to, now I need to sit down and have to, like, play ahead in time. And a lot of people are just enjoying the hell out of that one, so I should too, so... <laughs> <laughs> and there's a third phone booth of the second encounter. And this... And I don't know why I keep referring to it as the TARDIS, because the TARDIS is Yeah, blue. not red. <laughs> it was really it. Whoa, what the f- <laughs> That chainsaw is sticking through the phone. Hell, that chainsaw is not even animating. <laughs> it just makes- it makes Realism! Water. That's why! <laughs> no. But what's really interesting about this phone booth is that it actually connects to the phone booth from the Serpent Yards. The hmm. second phone booth of the game. And in fact, in the Serpent Yard, Sam actually makes a phone call. And Sam, in this level, the one who answers that call from this phone booth. 
interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Mini gun, my friend. Well, that's all well and good when it comes to uh, current games that you've been playing or, or anything that's on your mind. What about for good old Wiki? Um, I guess in reference to something that for some reason I was ashamed to admit in, in the first encounter, I've been playing RuneScape. <laughs> I have not played RuneScape. Yeah. You know, looking back, I don't know why that I was just like sounding like I'm so ashamed to play it. It's like a guilty pleasure or something like that. And now I'm like, of course, okay. <laughs> it's really interesting, like how I look back at myself like so many years uh, ago, because like I definitely sound like a lot more of a reserved, quiet sort of guy. And now I'm not so much no more. Yeah. <laughs> Having fun with your minigun flapjack? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Now all we need is to have a rocket attached to that chainsaw of yours. Oh yeah, then we have a ball. <laughs> nice throw, bomber! <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but one of the bombers actually tried to throw a bomb up here and bounced, <laughs> it bounced off the ceiling and back to the floor and it blew up a couple of the rocketeers. Ah! Oh shit! Yeah, 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 yeah! I won't clear. <laughs> yeah, go on without me. I'll I'll find a way out. I guess we do have to go here. Everything was starting to look familiar now. Hello. I'm on the other side of the trench. I see. Also. Wait, hold on. Go back. <laughs> Bye, Nar. What the fuck? <laughs> Dumbass Nars. Okay. I guess I, okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. Wait, Wiki. You want me to want me to backtrack to where you at? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. There's actually a secret to get here, but no, right over there to where that armor, uh, that armor piece was. There were a bunch of Nars spawning, and <laughs> they keep running over off the edge trying to get to me. Great passing. Yep. <laughs> also. Anyways, I'm not Geronimo! Crap. And you appeared over there. Yeah. What the hell am I? Oh, I know where I am. Yeah, there's a... Are we supposed to jump onto that revolving thing? Yeah, there's a, there's a jump pad down there. And the secret's up there to the right. Oh, oh I fuck, see. too soon. Ah, balls. Oh, God. All right, uh, yeah, this is one of the most difficult secrets to get. You... Go, thankfully, you go first. thankfully it's not in the in the classic version. Oh, oh wow. first try! Oh, you lucky bastard! I'm not gonna reach it. Ah, oh, jet out of a re jet out of reach. Wait, where is the platform? What the fuck? It's all the way at the top of the wall. Like, I'm just gonna stay here. I. I was hugging the middle section of the wall. I didn't see. Yeah, anything. don't do that. It'll actually reduce your, uh, your speed. Oh. Yeah, oh. friction. I'm guessing you're not gonna go for it. Oh. No, I'm trying again. Okay. Oh. That was weird. All right, I'll try not to get in your way. I'll just stay here so you'll know exactly where to go. Oh. No, oh, crap. Too, too soon. Yeah. And of course, Flapjack's having fun with his buzzsaw. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah. That time, that time I almost had it. I mean, you don't have to get it. I mean, Flapjack already got the secret. That's all that matters, pretty much. I would like some armor, though. Ugh, fuck. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're gonna get any when you keep failing like that, bud. Yeah, okay. <laughs> don't 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 try me. I'm not trying anything. <laughs> Were you just gonna push him? Wait, what? Dang it all. Okay, that was weird. From my perspective, it looked like you landed on the uh jump pad and then you just died. And I saw your corpse fly up here. 
Oh, I think you got it that time. What? No. Wow, this is bullshit. Like I got, I, I, I got to the pad on my first try. Now I just can't. Look. I can't believe Flapjack get made it on the on his first try. Game, come on. Okay, it looks to, to me it looks like you're actually landing on that jump pad, but you're not. You just keep dying on the jump pad, and then your body flies up here. Six hours later. No, I bumped into something shit. You know what? Fuck it. We're, we're spending too much time. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, people. You know what? You can keep your damn armor. I can get something. Get something else. Yeah, people are kind of getting tired of watching that over and over. I'm pretty sure. Yes. What else? Me, me, me having to try to get that piece of armor as opposed to like trying to park her up the tower. That's not boring at all. <laughs> Things suddenly turn seriously sour now. Seriously. And now that I take my aggression on something else. Also, I'm gonna flip this. Oh! Ah. Someone blew up the horse statue! That time it wasn't me. Fuck. <laughs> well, that was another secret, and now we can't get to it. Is that... I blame the Goro demons. Is that we are pretty unorthodox secret. Basically, you go up to the, ho uh, the statue's tail, you press use on it, and then the horse literally poops its heart out. What the fuck? <laughs> no! Anyway. Anyway, there was a talk about a secret door. Did we? Yeah, we find it or what? We just we just got out of there. Yeah, that room we walked out with the secret that you unlocked with that switch. And stuck up. All right. We all gotta go in there together. Let's go! Hey, where are you going? Oh, they're Don't warming up. Come, come over here. Get ready. Ow. Something just blew up behind me. I don't know what it was. Oh, lizard hog over there. <laughs> okay. That was a thing. Yeah. No. And now we shall end the level. All right, that was the yep, second one. Yep, two down, two to go. Playing time like uh, playing time like uh, an hour. hour. Yeah, over an hour. All right. <laughs> now, uh, as soon as it's spawned and don't go anywhere, I want to I want to take a bath and break real quick. So uh, I'll be right back. Editing, yay! Editing, yeah. yay! So yeah, I'm gonna spawn <laughs> in and then uh, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. If the game will let me spawn in.
That right there was a call back to first encounter. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. The freak of descent has yep. returned. I had to take a bathroom break. And now here we are at the courtyard of Gilgamesh. Meanwhile, Flatjack Flat Flat Jack was having a music oh, moment. Again. <laughs> You'll see. Is it, is it like that, that other time <laughs> where you went to the bathroom and he was like messing around with a knife and whatnot? You'll see. You'll see. Okay. Well, I was still recording while I was away, but uh, I guess I'll see when we're, uh, <laughs> when we're all done. Well, we won't have a reason to edit that. Well, I'll be cutting it out anyway, so... Oh. Okay, that was too soon. There we go. There's a secret heart right there. Uh, no. Heart How do you get up to it? You jump from here. I see. I oh, what see. the hell? <laughs> I jumped pretty high over you guys. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? My game just froze again. Alright. Okay, you're so, looking yeah. fine now. <laughs> so what other games have you been playing other than this recently? Well, with me, I've been playing uh, the Myth games. I don't know if you guys are into the uh, the Myth series like I am. The only extent of the Myth series that I have played was through a Minecraft mod. <laughs> of course. I played through the I played through the first four Myth games. Oh yeah, the one that featured the stranger. The stranger. It, yeah, that's what the main protagonist of the Myth game of the first four Myth games are called. And by the way, that backpack you guys picked up. That label is a secret! It's not very secret at all. It's not very secret at exactly. all. Exactly. Anyway. So yeah, I've been playing... I'm trying to play through uh, all seven of the Myth games right now. I'm doing the uh, Uru Complete Chronicles. Before I carry on over to Myth 5. And fish! Frickin' big stick. Yep. <laughs> Alright, come over this way. And swim, swim up here so we can breathe. Alright, now we'll go down this way, and I think it's forward. That next secret is located. Yeah, here we are. So yeah, I'm trying to get through the uh, myth games before I get around to... Uh, playing this new game by Cyan called Abduction. It's basically, it's supposed to be Abduction spelled with an O and not an A. So wait, what was the objective of the Miss game? Is it just going about it? Yeah, things? basically exploring different places or ages as they're called and solving puzzles and whatnot. But all the Miss games each have uh, different primary objectives connected to them. With the first game, basically, there is no uh, specific objective, like, right off the bat. You just find a book fall that falls from the sky, you touch a, a picture on it, and then you suddenly warp to that place that's in that picture. You know, that's pretty much, like, from what I've expected when I played that mod in Minecraft called Mistcraft. Oh, yeah, I've heard, I've heard about that. And, and the whole thing behind it is that, like, I'm sure you already know, like, the whole idea behind Minecraft with having different dimensions. Like, there's the overworld, there's the nether, there's the end, yeah. those sort of things. 
So the idea behind Mistcraft is that like you uh, you find these pages and you use them as a way of uh, describing the apes that you wanted to go to. Oh yeah. And some of the times it works, sometimes it doesn't, because it can be like unstable. Sometimes like like oh, hi there, big <laughs> guy. Boy, well, you've been having your milk. <laughs> But yeah, there was a mod that I I did I like a bit because like like once you've got enough pages and you know how to uh, structure them just right, you'll be able to create your own custom dimension how you see huh. fit. If you create your own age. Yeah. One notable thing I did remember from that mod is that there is a thing where you can add rainbows. <laughs> because of rainbows. <laughs> Uh, where are you guys now? Up. Oh. Well, that just down there underneath having a fun time. Oh, well, so are we. Oh, come on. Well, there's the plant. Yeah. Oh, jeez. A pair of plants. Oh. Okay, that was weird how it disintegrated. <laughs> also... <laughs> Because the way it disintegrated, it took like the textures of those leaves to make it look like black squares. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I see two serious damage. And they're going There's a laser down here. Where's the, uh, yep. oh, the laser? Oh, shoot. I must grab that before anything else. Oh, jeez. Go! Gonna, I'm gonna I'll go cover you. Shit. Oh god, um, uh, uh, uh. Leave my friend alone! Oh no, why didn't I grab this? Yes? Frickin' fireball. <laughs> No one over there. Stuff. Yeah, those giant green balls of mucus. <laughs> Basically what they are. Big balls of mucus. Not fire, yep. mucus. No, no, great balls of mucus. Oh, there's another game that I've been uh, getting into that I bought with my uh, Christmas money. Well, there's actually a few games that I bought for Christmas. I actually uh, mentioned them in one of my, or in the only video log I've had so far. Right now, i only got one video log up, and it's the first one I've ever done. But yeah, I went ahead and bought a few games, such as uh, Rocket League. I've been done. How's that treat? It is a lot of fun. I haven't played any, I haven't, blah, 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 I haven't played any online matches yet. I'm waiting to uh, play my first ever online match with a friend of mine who also has Rocket League. And I also got a uh, Turbo Dismount, thanks to Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. Okay, why is it every time I pick something up, I, the caption says Book of Wisdom? That was not the Book of Wisdom that I picked up. Ah. Let's go ahead and quote John Tron by accident. Ah. Yeah, for me, I, I don't know what else I can really say about current games that I'm playing. I mean, I'm still playing uh, My Splatoon 2. I've already mentioned the RuneScapes. Um, I don't even know. And of course, you're. I mean, for games that I should be getting myself into soon, I did say had time. That's one thing. And here's Nade Launcher. And of course, you've always. Oh, you've been uh, really getting into Splatoon. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, because see, like, the last, like, the recent Splatfest that happened, I believe, was, like, again, another battle of the genres. Because last time it was, uh, sci-fi versus fantasy, with fantasy winning, and I was on fantasy. Ah. Now this time, the, the genre was action versus comedy. <laughs> which, this game right here just works for both. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> And Team Comedy wins, and I was on Team Comedy. <laughs> yes. You guys are over there, and I'm over here. So what now? <laughs> Bye. I can think of something. Oh, so close. Oh, you guys are both down there. Whoa! Left boy, this isn't my floor. Oh, my game just froze again. I, I don't know why I keep doing that. Here, I'll, I'll give you some air support. Oh, I thought they were coming from behind me. Any more? <laughs> oh, yep. Oh, look out! You're just hugging the wall. Like a loser. Don't fake out on me. Hi, welcome to the third floor. Okay. 